Hey guys, so today's video is a going to the beach look. It's using products that are going to either protect your skin with SPF or they're water resistant or waterproof so it's going to last all day long for you. This is the finished look. I'm using a lot of, um, I'm using two shades of Maybelline Color Tattoo. Um, some products with SPF like I said. Try to bronze up the skin just a tad because I am so pale. Um, but I think it's a really easy, beginner-friendly look. Um, it doesn't have to be flawless. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I think it can be really fun if you like going to the beach and just looking pretty in the sand rather than trying to surf because maybe you might drown like I do when I drive. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys like this video and just keep watching to see how to get this look. Bye! Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to apply my Ole Complete All Day Moisturizer. This one has broad spectrum SPF and is for sensitive skin and it's oil free. So if you have oily skin or you just have sensitive skin, this is going to be a good option for you. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to apply it all over my face and my neck. Okay, so I'm going to let that set in for just a second. Next, I'm going to conceal all my blemishes because I have had like a bad acne week. And I'm using my Laura Geller Real Deal Concealer. And I'm picking this one because it may take longer to work in, but it's actually a water resistant formula. So it works better uh, for humidity and days at the beach, etc. etc. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder. This one is also a really good option because it has SPF 20 in it. And it says it has an exclusive antioxidant blend. I, you know, I don't know about that, but I love skin products or makeup, foundation, things like that, that have SPF because it takes, um, you know, it's just built in. So it's one step you don't have to do. But granted, I'm going to the beach, so I still put on my SPF moisturizer. But... You know, on a daily basis, when you're not going to be out in the sun that much, this would be a really good thing just by itself. And I'm just using my Kabuki brush to kind of push this all over my skin. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Bronzer. It looks like this. It's just a light matte bronzer. And I'm taking my Bare Essentials Angled Face Brush. And I'm just going to, I'm not really contouring today, I'm just going to take this all across my cheekbones and just kind of bronze up my face a little bit. Especially me, because I'm so light, I kind of have to fake it. So, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to work that down a little bit. Across my temple. Side my nose a little bit. Take my little powder brush, kind of blend that out just a teeny bit so it doesn't look so streaky or orange and crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to just do a little bit with my eyes. I'm using Maybelline Color Tattoo. I'm using it in bold gold and edgy emerald. It's like a teal and a gold color, obviously. So I'm just going to use my finger for this to apply it on my lid. I'm taking the gold just on my middle finger and just going all across my lid. Not even worrying about being too perfect. It's the beach, you know. Don't stress it. But it just gives it a nice sheen and shimmer. A little bit of color, but not really much at all. Yeah, got some under my eye too. Not even stressing. So now I'm going to go into this edgy emerald color and I'm using my little 242 mini shader brush and just on the edge of that brush ever so slightly. I'm going to take it on my lower lash line just because I thought it would be kind of cute, you know, summertime, pop a color at the beach. Doesn't this remind you of the beach? Like, come on, golden sand color, ocean blue color, like that's a good time. So I'm just going to put this all across my lash line like so. That is so cute. I haven't worn it like this before, so kind of just winging it right now, but it's looking pretty fun. Just like that. See? And same thing on the other side. That is so fun. Okay. Sorry. Kind of excited. So these guys are really great to use because they will last all day long. They're waterproof, I think. 
Um, I know I've had a hard time taking them off with even makeup remover, um, but they will not budge or fall or anything, so that's why I chose them. For liner, I'm going to just do a little teeny bit. Um, this is Revlon Color Stay. I don't think it's waterproof, but it doesn't like smudge really bad at all. My favorite was the Rimmel. It looks just like this, but it has like, a little smudgy end, and that was waterproof, and I used it on my waterline, but my tip broke on that one, so using this one instead. And I'm just getting as close to the natural lash line as I can, except for right there. There I goofed. You know what? Just go with it. Okay. So yes, like every day I am still going to curl my lashes using my Sally Henson Sexy Curls Eyelash Curler because it's the best. Boop, boop, boop. I think this tutorial is going to be really good for people who don't like to be super perfect. Real quick, throw it on. Leave out steps if you want to. Who cares? It's the beach, you know? Do what you want to do. And I'm using a waterproof mascara. This one is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. Just like that. Had this one for a little while. The beginning of the summer, I think. Okay, so that's it for lashes. I don't know if I want to do my brows today. Honestly, this is kind of a go with the flow, kind of bohemian, do whatever you want kind of thing. Nope, not even going to do my brows. So, I guess this is it. It's kind of a fun, beachy, super long wearing, almost waterproof look. Um, and it's going to protect your skin, hopefully, from the sun. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.